So far, we've been talking about frames of reference moving at a constant velocity relative to one another. Now I'm going to do the experiment with the dropping ball again, only this time the cart will be accelerated relative to the Earth frame. These weights will fall and give the cart a constant acceleration. I'll put the ball up and then I will release it. The motion is very fast and I want you to watch at the point where the ball is released from the fixed camera. Ready? I don't know whether you saw that or not, but the path of the ball was the same as it was before. Only this time it landed in a different spot. This is because the car kept on accelerating in this direction as the ball was falling. Now I'm going to let you see it again with the slow motion camera fixed onto the cart. This time you saw the ball moving off to one side and not following down the vertical reference line as it did in the constant velocity case. Now suppose you were in this accelerated frame of reference. How could you explain this motion? Gravity is the only force acting on this ball, so it should fall straight down. But if the law of inertia is to hold, there must be a force pushing sideways on the ball in this direction to cause it to deviate from the vertical path. But what kind of a force is it? It isn't a gravitational or an electric or a nuclear force. In fact, it isn't a force at all as we know one. So we're left to conclude that it, since there is no force that could be pushing in this direction on the ball, that the law of inertia just does not hold. This is a strange frame of reference. We call a frame of reference in which the law of inertia holds an inertial frame. The law of inertia holds in the Earth frame of reference. So it is an inertial frame. The cart moving at constant velocity relative to the Earth is an inertial frame. But the cart which is accelerated is not an inertial frame. Because the frame of reference that we're used to living in is one in which the law of inertia holds, when we go into a non-inertial frame, like the frame of the accelerated cart, our belief in the law of inertia is so strong that when we see an acceleration of the ball sideways, we think there is a force causing it. So we make up a fiction that there is a force. And sometimes we call this a fictitious force. Fictitious forces arise in accelerated frames of reference. The frame is accelerated in this direction, so you in the frame see an acceleration of the ball in this direction, and you say that there is a force causing it. <laughs>